Do you need any help? I think I could use some help. It's oh. a little scary out here. Yeah, well, let me kind of help you in the direction that you're going. Okay. All right, let me kind of help you along. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, oh you're safe. Well, I feel safer now. You're safe. I can lay my eggs. That's yeah. what I was going to do. Oh, great. Well, now you are safe and you can lay your eggs. I'm so glad that I was able to help you get across the road. Well, thank you. You know, you might have seen some of my other friends trying to cross the road as well this spring. A lot of turtles do cross roads to go different places to lay their eggs. So, you can remember what you did today to help other turtles who are crossing the road. So, some of the things that you can do to help our turtles safely cross the road include looking at the road when you're driving or in the car to make sure you don't hit any turtles, going the speed limit so that you can slow down or stop if you need to. You can also help yourself while you're helping our turtles. When you have a parent or adult there to help you, you can make sure no cars are coming and actually get out and help a turtle cross the road. Also, protect yourself by knowing what kind of turtle you are helping. If it's a snapping turtle, you definitely don't want to touch it or get too close because they can get you with that bite. All right, this is a beautiful specimen, a box turtle. This could be one of the species that you encounter um, crossing the road. Box turtles, like all reptiles, lay their eggs on land. So as our friendly turtle mentioned today, um, she was up on land to lay her eggs. Box turtles and all other reptiles will do the same. Box turtles actually get their name because they have this special hinge on the bottom of their shell. This hinge allows them to pull their head, arms, and legs into their shell for protection. When you saw this box turtle on the ground, you might have noticed that he was really, really well camouflaged into his surroundings. Box turtles are going to be living in forested areas. So if you have a forest in your backyard, this is one of the types of turtles that you might see there. Another thing that's really cool about box turtles um, is they do have, of course, a hard shell. Their shell is made out of keratin and bone. Keratin is the same material as our fingernails. And then their arms and legs have claws. And this is so um, that they can dig and move around easily. Males and females, you can also tell their difference based on the color of their eyes. So males are typically going to have red eyes, whereas females will have orange or yellow eyes. Something else to know about box turtles is box turtles are terrestrial. So these turtles spend their lives on the land. So they do not swim or don't have a period of time where they're in water. So keep in mind, if you do see a box turtle, you wouldn't want to put this turtle back into the water. You could put it near the water um, because he certainly needs to drink fresh water, but you wouldn't want to put him in the water because they can't swim. And you can tell that he's a terrestrial turtle because of those claws on his feet. So most turtles that live in the water, you're gonna see that they have webbed feet. So they'll have between their toes, they'll have webbing to help them swim like paddles through the water. But box turtles are gonna have those, those claws. Just like we each have different fingerprints, box turtles are all unique. Box turtles have different shell patterns, different colorations that really make them unique from one another. So you really won't find any two box turtles that are alike. What do these guys eat, you might be wondering. Box turtles are omnivores. So they will eat um, both plants and insects and other meat. So they are eating um, a variety of different things. Here at Rock Eagle, uh, they get nice fresh salads and a lot of insects to eat uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, every week. So if you see a turtle crossing the road, please help keep the turtles and yourself safe. Thanks so much for tuning in today. Look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow for Tuesdays on Tybee. So after we got done filming our turtle crossing video today, we found some actual wildlife Crossing the road here at Rock Eagle, we found a beautiful black rat snake um, making his way across the road. Pretty awesome. The black rat snake that we saw crossing the road has now safely crossed and is making his way up this pine tree 
it's absolutely amazing to see snakes climb, especially just a snake in, it, in the wild, just doing what it does best.